right, today I have an amazing recipe for you. I'm taking some creamy uh, mozzarella cheese and I'm placing it on the side of our crock pot. Oh my goodness, what's not to love? Pizza sauce with some mozzarella cheese. Make sure that's spread perfectly. Now that we have that there, I'm taking some mini pepperonis. These things are amazing. Look how cute they are, you see that? Now I'm just gonna bring that right here on the side. Today we have an awesome little game day appetizer for you and this is really going to just kick off, kick off your game day perfect. I like using the mini ones here and you'll understand why here in just a second. Oh, that is phenomenal. Now I'm coming instantly in with some Parmesan cheese. I have the mozzarella down there and I'm just pretty much gonna, I think I'm just gonna put this right on top of that mozzarella. Let's just put it on top of mozzarella. So I have two full cups of mozzarella and then one cup of Parmesan. And oh, look, this is aroma's outrageous. Now I'm coming in with some Philadelphia cream cheese and I'm just gonna take this block and place it right on top. I think right here is going to be absolutely perfect. We want kind of all the cheeses to blend together. And right before we get this going, I'm gonna do some Italian seasoning. And the Italian seasoning you want, kind of want to put throughout the whole entire dish. You, it does have some in the sauce, so feel free to kind of, you could be heavy handed here because there is a lot of cheese, there is gonna be a lot of flavor here. But the main thing is that Italian is going to be your main herb in this dish. Oh my goodness. I'm actually getting severely excited looking at this. And can you read that? Onion. Onion powder. And I'm gonna take some onion powder. It's just gonna add some great flavor to it. And be heavy handed here, all right? There's a lot of ingredients in here and we need seasoning to back all those flavors up and just elevate that experience. Now I'm taking some garlic powder. If you're not using garlic powder in pretty much every recipe, you're probably doing it wrong. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna be heavy handed here too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at how amazing that looks. It literally took five minutes. And this is ready to put my lid here. I'm gonna put this on high and this is going to cook for about one hour. All right, so this has been on high for two hours. I'm just gonna turn this on warm and ready for this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that looks amazing. You see the pepperonis right here? But I'm gonna come right in and start stirring it. It smells like heaven. Oh my gosh, look at that mozzarella. Ooh, you definitely want to mix in all of that pizza sauce with the pepperoni. You see the mozzarella cheese right there. Oh my goodness, people are going to go crazy for this. Make sure you get all the pepperoni incorporated within that mozzarella because that's what's actually going to um, make this exactly what we need. Oh my goodness. How does that look, babe? A little bit more mixing. You're a little bit there. more mixing, right? Yeah, yeah. I agree, I agree. Ooh, you want it smells to be able to good, though. This. Wow. So my dominoes. It does. It totally does. All right, I think you're good. Let's All try right. it. Let's try it. That looks good. Now I have some garlic knots. They're kind of like the ones that you just pre-bake, and I'm just gonna go right into this. Oh, <laughs> wow! I know you're excited. I'm just as excited as you, honey. You ready for this? Go on, in. it's gonna be super hot. You're super hot. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I think I, think I fell in love with it. <clears throat> now that is delicious. I hope I'm gonna try it. Right, so I'm taking a whole entire package of these Grand's Buttermilk Biscuits, take them out of the package, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take one of these, split them in half, okay? Grab some scissors or kitchen shears and cut them into fourths. This recipe is gonna be so easy and so fast and make sure we do that to each biscuit. Peel them in half, put them on top of each other, cut them into fourths. I'm gonna make this fast for you, but you guys take your time. I made those a little smaller than usual, but look at all that. So I used two packages, okay? Now I'm coming in with some pepperoni. You guessed it. 
we're starting to kind of configure what we want here. So I'm, you could take the whole pepperonis here, but, but I am going to take, I'm going to take this stack and I'm going to cut them right in half, right down the middle. Do not cut open your, your hand. That probably isn't good. Uh, essentially what you want to do is you want to make these bite sized. That way they go right on top of that wonderful biscuit mixture. Look at that. Do you think that's enough pepperoni, babe, or should we add a little bit more? Um, I think a little bit more. All right, and now that we have all the pepperoni right there, I'm gonna take some cheese. I'm using pizza cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. And I'm gonna put this right on top. I'm only gonna use half of the bag right now because once we toss it with everything, uh, we're gonna add some more cheese. Whole stick of butter, I'm gonna place it right here because what we're going to add to the butter is some Spice World garlic. Spice World, they just know what they're doing. And I'm gonna punch a, a little bit of that in there. And then what goes well with butter and garlic? Italian seasoning, you guessed it. So I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning into that butter. Make it like an herb, a garlic herb butter. Look at that. The wow. garlic smells so good. Doesn't it? Now I'm just gonna mix this one up, get all that garlic, all the herbs. Look at that, that looks phenomenal. Look at how amazing that butter looks. Yum. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna put some butter, I'm gonna use half this butter as well, okay? Perfect. Used half of it, we're gonna save half just for a little bit later. Now here comes the fun part, are you ready? Yeah. So you go in here and you kind of want to toss everything together. You don't want the dough to stick too much, so feel free to get in there. All right, you kind of want to blend everything together. Look at how this is coming. This is coming. It's okay, feel free to peel these apart because it is going to be kind of like a pull apart bread as you probably have guessed already. So feel free to pull it apart because that's how, what people are going to do. And this is about the time where we add a little bit more cheese because uh, you want to always gauge your cheese levels. I'm gonna use the whole entire bag here because I love cheese. My whole family loves cheese. If you're not, you know, you gotta get you gotta get your hands dirty in the kitchen sometimes. If you're not making a mess in the kitchen, you ain't doing it right. You ain't doing it right. You already know that. And I think we're lacking a little bit of pepperoni in here, so I'm gonna add some pepperoni. Now here comes the fun part. Set that to the side. Bring in a greased bunt pan, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take take this pull apart bread and place it all across. Make sure you grease your bunt pan, or else you're not gonna have a good time and nor are people that are actually gonna grab into this. Don't worry, make sure your hands are nice and clean, like mine, and we're just gonna place it right, you know, right on top. You want, you want no, you want no uh, dry spots, you also want no empty spots. Look at that. Anything left over, put it right on top. This dough will expand, so make sure that you leave enough room. I'm gonna push this down a little bit, and now we come back in with that garlic herb butter. This is where we're gonna want all the garlic to come out. You see here comes all of that garlic with the butter. You want it to come out right on top. Look at that. Okay, and we're just about done here. I have my final ingredient. I'm gonna take some Parmesan cheese. Uh, we did use pizza cheese, and now we're gonna use this grated Parmesan. And I'm just gonna put it right on top to add that nice coat of flavor, cover, cover up that garlic. Mmm, this smells phenomenal. I have my oven set to 350. I'm gonna put it in there for probably about like 40 minutes till it's nice and crispy. Oh my goodness, look at this. But here's the fun part, okay? You ready? I'm just gonna flip it over, I think. Three, two, one. Oh, it came right out. It literally came right out. And here we go. Oh, it's nice and toasty. You know it's super crispy and that's just from the cheese right there. I'm coming right in with my pizza sauce. Everybody loves a good old pizza sauce and I'm pouring it right there in the center all the way up. Look at that. Perfect. I'm getting every last bit of that pizza sauce in there. Coming in with our Parmesan cheese, our grated Parmesan cheese because why not, right? Put it right on top. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I am ready to try this. The best part is you just click, you just get in there, get in there and then pull it apart. Look, it comes perfectly apart. It's perfectly cooked. Get some of that, ooh, sauce. Look at that. 
it's literally perfect. It's so easy. Blow on it, it's gonna be nice and hot. Oh my gosh, it's so buttery. <clears throat> so buttery, so delicious. Oh my gosh, I hope you enjoy it, this is phenomenal, so good.